All right, welcome back to AGDQ 2020. I'm Sky Bills. I'm going to be your host for the Mario Maker 2 vlog. Let's hear some excitement in here. Oh, come on, there's way more of you than that. Let's really hear it for this bunch. Come on now. All right, so we have a $25 donation from Matthew. He says, shout outs to my friends in the Kaiser crew. And we've been the most amazing community to hang out with in the past few GDQs. Wish I could have been there in person, but having a blast watching at home with my wife and newborn daughter. I'll donate another $25 if the couch says hi to Marnie. We'll make sure to do that later on for you, Matthew. We have a $563 donation from Dice Guy D, who says, Mario Maker 2 at AGDQ, take all of my money. This was an RNG donation brought to you by rolling 30 30-sided 30 dice. Good luck on the race, everyone, and thank you to AGDQ for a week of incredible ent entertainment and generosity. Thank you very much for your donation. King Covey donates $500 saying, Gotta see Link's Awakening, go TGH! <laughs> Absolutely, and as a quick update to that, something we're going to look forward to working together, we need about $151,000 left until that incentive. Let's make it happen by the end of Mario Maker 2. Also, we gotta see that secret bonus game, so if you would like to see both things, please get those donations in as soon as possible. Mario Man donates $100 saying, can't wait to see a fresh Link's Awakening at GDQ. Let's wake up some windfish and the hype train. <laughs> Nats Fan donates $250 saying, I didn't think we'd hit Animorphs in time. Then I didn't think we'd hit FFV1 in time. Then I didn't think we'd hit Pokemon Blue in time. I've learned my lesson. We are hitting Link's Awakening in time. Let's go! <laughs> Thanks, Nats Fan. Nave donates $100 saying, go, 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 three million hype! <laughs> all right, and the moment you've all been waiting for, let's go Super Mario Maker 2 with the SMM2 crew. Take it away, folks. Welcome, everybody. Are you ready for some Super Mario Maker 2? Let's hear it. It sounds like they're ready. I feel like they're ready. Sounds Here on commentary, good. I am Glitchcat7, joined by Xwater, the Dragon Feeny, and Ethan. And more importantly, on the stage, we have two amazing teams for you here today. I'll be introducing to you the team on the right, Team Puey My Wevel, starting with a man who is one of the most prolific creators in all of Mario, can beat any level there is, but no, he won't play yours. Barbarous King! Second up, we've got a man with the patience of a school teacher and the skill of a Mario master. Here is the bald man, or -ra 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 Next up, one of the greatest legends we have here, an original king of Kaizo and a real grown man, Pangea Panga! Yata. And last but not least, a man with too many titles, a force of skill and charisma, the people's champion, Grand Poovy! Introducing the next team is my co-host, Dragon Feeny. Our opposing team tonight is OK Boom Boom, the maddest of lads. We have the beautiful bearded man, Ryukar. <laughs> We've got the thunder from down under. They needed to bring in a ringer from the other side of the world, Just Cook. We have Barbarous King's favorite son. 
and the only man who lives up to his name, The Beast 721. <laughs> And our very own Softlock God. <laughs> yeah. Softlock God, spaghetti cooker, scientist, Carl Sagan 42. All right, real quick before we get started, I am going to explain how this is going to work for everybody. These are levels that were made specifically for this event. They are blind. They are brand new. These racers have never seen them before. They're going to use all their skill and wits. There are seven levels and a final level. Each team will receive a point for beating a level, and the team with the most points coming into the eighth level will receive a 20-second head start to try to beat it for the other team. We are ready here with this first level. All Goombrats do quarrel by Bufflin. So could we get a countdown in the, in the, from the crowd? Ready? Oh, we're ready. Three, three two, two, one, go! go. <laughs> All right. One thing I'm really excited about right here is that on commentary, we also are going to have the blind perspective. Ethan, you haven't seen any of these levels. First time for me. Yeah, so feel free to get excited. Oh, and we have our first death. Yeah. <laughs> so this is an SMB1 level uh, in the underground style, so we're going to see a lot of jumping and a lot of blue uh, falling platforms. So far, some precision platforming here. Really good moves for both teams. Play my level, Don't though. Man, no. Taking a quick lead. Play my level on a roll right now, using that POW block to clear the munchers on the blue platform so they can keep moving. They're making some serious progress over here. Wow, we've got some Heading progress. In. Wow! Oh. Team, play my oh level. my god. Into the fight. Getting the first checkpoint. Okay, okay. Ooh, and right. still moving. That checkpoint is going to be huge for Team Play My Level. That means they can save just a little bit of their progress. Yep. And Meanwhile. we can see that red door has entered. Barb is entering blind space now. He does not know what's coming up. Ooh. This is going to require some really quick reaction from these players, hitting these on-off switches to change the blocks yeah. red to blue. They're going to need that to open the gates and allow themselves to progress. Ooh. All right, Orator making it into the same area Barb was just in. Has that knowledge. Careful momentum buildup needed okay. right there. Wow, really good read right now going on for Play My Level. There is some serious communication and blind readability. Remember, these players have never seen this before, so they are reacting. And you can think of these levels much more as a lexicon of skill than an actual thing to play. Here we go. Oh, oh that was close. Oh, oh. Pipe entry. You hate to see it. After such a beautiful playthrough right there. It all comes down to the vertical pipe. It's gotten me once or twice before, too. Ooh. I think it's gotten us all once or twice. Oh, yeah. That might give OK Boom Boom just a chance to catch up here, still looking yeah, for making, that first checkpoint. They're check making point. slow but steady progress on that, in that initial section. Ooh. Tough break for Play My Level. Those spike hitboxes can be deceptively large. Yeah, those spike hitboxes definitely gained a little bit of size in Mario Maker 2. The games look very similar compared to 1 and 2, but there actually are a lot of, like, subtle differences and things you might not see from a viewer's perspective just at first. But there's a lot of, uh, a lot of niche in the way that you're moving around here. Movement we're all, we're also going to get to see a lot of the new uh, Mario Maker stuff being added. Um, the changes between Mario Maker 1 and Mario Maker 2 are pretty interesting, and we're going to hopefully show some of that off here. Okay, okay. Boom, boom, the there pipe. we go, there we go. The crowd goes wild. Get that, that nice little toadette checkpoint there. All right, we've got Barb making clean progress over here. It should be noted that if you're at all familiar with Super Mario Maker 1, there are a lot of, a lot of element differences in this level already. Mm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's another checkpoint for Play My Level. One section ahead, maintaining that lead. Let's see if they can round it out in the final section. Making a lot of blind progress right here. He has no idea what's coming next. Completely by his wits. Amazing reuse wow. of elements in this level. That same shell. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. 
three separate bounces that was it, it goes forward with you now this is something that factors into a lot of blind mario races is knowledge once these players have seen knowledge. what they have to do if they die they're going to have to come back and capitalize on that knowledge that they have and just being able to see further on in a section might be an advantage if they can hold on to it I love the use of the 8-bit the Goombrats in this level. It's like a sprite we never got in Super Mario Brothers originally, but, right. you know, added into Super Mario Maker 2. Yeah. yeah, also nice use of that giant Goombrat that splits into two when you stomp on it in that previous section. Yeah. You know, add a little bit of excitement to these bounce combos. Would one of you like to tell us the difference between a Goombrat and a regular Goomba? Ooh, ooh, I know, I know. Yes, yes, yes go, you, go ahead. Um, Thanks for raising your hand. Uh, a Goombrat will not walk off the edge. They value their lives too much. That's Good correct. Answer. Yes. They are playing some serious uh, moving chairs over here. I saw them earlier practicing the musical chairs, yeah, and yeah. They've, they've nailed yeah, it. Yeah. That was, I think, <laughs> half of their week of practice here was... Oh, nice. there's nice. Team done. OK Boom Boom Equalizing getting into the, the corner. corner. And now we are neck and neck. Just a quick reminder, there is an eight minute time limit per level. If no team finishes, it will be a draw. But once eight minutes have elapsed, the players will be allowed to finish the life that they're on. So we got to keep things moving here. Oh, team OK Boom Boom making great blind progress as well. Yeah, here goes OK Boom Boom with a shot at that vertical pipe. Yes. Oh, They've got the money. Oh, my Can goodness. They get oh my goodness. That final pipe? Was that first? Like, oh, my God. The heartbeat. There it is, yes, the vertical, the vertical pipe. pipe. Wow, suddenly the and lead is win. Amazing. Amazing. For this first level, the crowd is going absolutely wild. Wow. There they are cheering for. That was the beast with yep. that clear, that very, very clutch clear for his team. Oh, just yeah. like Beanie okay, said, boom, boom, up <laughs> true to his name. By one. <laughs> true to his name. So while we are getting set up for the second level, I think we might have time for a couple of donations. Skybills, if you want to say hello to everybody. Well, hello, everybody. And boy, do I have some fresh Mario Maker memes for y'all. <laughs> we have a $100 from ZamFam who says, my husband and I look forward to the Mario Maker runs every year. So hype for this run. Marbles, marbles, marbles. <laughs> Skill at 82 donates $100 saying, where is the bald man? His cat needs food. His hippo is threatening. R. 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 Gotta have that there. Kneeling behind couch donates $100 saying, let's go. And with that, back to Oh, yeah. I think we all share the same sentiment there. All right. Well, let's go. Let's get ready for this next level. This is a, uh, from a maker named Say, who has been around in the Mario Maker community for a very long time. We're very excited to see what they've got for us. Spooky Ghost Hot Tub. Ooh, Would you like to help with the countdown? Let's count it down and get them started. Five, Five four, four, three, three two, two, one, go! I love these level names. These are great, right? Oh, you're gonna like this one. This, you, you, this is your first time seeing this. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. This one's fun to watch. Yeah. So Say is a maker with a lot of creativity and uh, some very interesting machinery. As you might already notice, these players in SMB3 style being chased <laughs> by this stack oh of booze. <laughs> Guys, it's too skabuki. I don't wanna watch. No, I had a nightmare happens. like this last week. These booze are in the mechanics of the level are actually stacked on a muncher that is moving on a conveyor belt because with this rising lava, you can uh, hide machinery inside of it. So impressive. Both teams making a lot of progress right now. Toadette getting really close to getting caught there. Beautiful wow. snipe. Oh, my gosh. Oh my the, gosh. the sync up right now is incredible. These yes. players have never, remember, they have never seen this before. Oh, and a and first the, oh my, on both sides. Wow. I would expect nothing less from such talented players Amazing. over here. That was absolutely incredible. First shot completely synced up. And now Play there's two. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so we've got two stacks now, and they're going to have to stay between uh, while they're still hitting these on-off switches to open the gate. I and look out. Is this is incredibly synced. I can't believe this. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh. Like really, oh. oh death on both Ooh. sides. The dancing chairs are happening real quick right that now. Was, that's really tricky. As that dry bones is riding around, that's a large dry bone, so you're not going to kill it by jumping on it, and they're going to need to bounce on that in order to sort of surf across that lava there. Also making good use of the cranes. Uh, they will give you some momentum when you jump into them, and they're going to mm -hmm. actually need to use that momentum to swing themselves across the next gap. Team OK, okay. Boom Boom getting back to where they were. This is new for them now. 
really good blind read going on here. Even wow. I'm breathing heavy right now, just watching it. Okay, all right. Oh my gosh, here it goes There's now. Still a little bit more. Okay, Boom Boom getting close. To getting those. close oh. and tight. Oh. Oh. Okay, now here's, the, now here's play my level. Here's play my level's shot. <laughs> here they go. What an upset right there. And I think oh. you can confirm that vertical pipes are actually one of the most difficult to just jump up into. To, to yeah. jump into. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. They need to be centered in the middle of the pipe. Bonking to the left or the right might not actually get you in, even if you're touching and even if you're holding up. Yeah. If you, the even jumping like, precision there to, to keep under I those know. spikes is incredible. Isn't it just so fun how the boos are speeding up and slowing yeah. down around you to get it, like make that room a little closer? Yeah. But yeah, I just That's love brilliant. that so much. Yes, yeah, Seiya as a maker has a really good sense of excitement and dynamics in yeah. the level that he makes. He always really likes to make things feel very fresh but exciting at the same time. Yeah, and we'll give a proper shout out to all the makers at the end of the race, but big shout out to the immense creativity that goes in from these guys. Yes, there is. Play my level in the pipe. Now, what are they going to do? They see the axe. Oh. What's it going to be? Oh, my God. Oh, no, look out. <laughs> Not even phased. He's been tricked. Oh, God. Just quick knows what he's doing. Wow. Oh, wait, no, that was wow. Barb. Oh, I was thinking that, that was right. Barb. That was Barb. Okay. And that is a clear from Barb for team Play My Level. He played that level very, very well. One to one going into the third round. Skybills, what's, it, what's going on? Got some donations? Oh, absolutely. I have donations and memes for y'all. And news. And memes. Whoa. We have a $35 donation from Aura TTS bot that says R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R Wow. Very Holy awesome. Moly. Tony here on behalf of the Video Game Vinyl Collectors Facebook group. This donation was raised by our generous and enthusiastic members via raffles for custom video game records. Everyone, please come and join us in sharing the love for video game music on vinyl. Chat, spam, GDQ tunes. And also, on a quick update here, we are just about 100K shy of that Link's Awakening incentive. And also, too, remember, 2.3 million for the secret bonus game. So if you would like to see both of those, let's do that during this run. Let's go to a chat and back to y'all. Let's go. So I next definitely level. Want to see that Link's Awakening. So make sure you guys keep getting those donations in. You guys have been amazingly generous so far. Yeah. All right. Our next level is from Failstream, a veteran of the GDQ stage who performed at the last Mario Maker race and maker of some of the most incredible cape levels out there. This is Catch and Carry. You want to help us count down on five, four, four three, two, two, one, go. go. This is going to be a tricky one. We were checking these levels out in the commentary team just a little bit, and we all agreed that this one might give them a little bit of trouble. This one spooked me. Yeah, yeah this one is the already. So this level is, is called Snakes, and the mechanic here, they are going to be riding these snake blocks. And there's a couple of things that Failstream has done to make this a little bit easier. You notice that the track lines there are just kind of floating, and that's to show you where the snake block is going to stop. And that's really important because you need to kind of have a sense of where you're going. There's going to be some really tricky jumps in this, and that track block there again, showing them where to throw the shell. Yeah, right. send that pow right there. It looked like we uh, had a walk into the pow, but if you don't grab it as you're running, you'll actually have your momentum just oof, taken away. Yeah. There are a lot of things that um, Mario Maker creators use to uh, indicate what a player should do. Uh, those track boxes and lines like we mentioned, and that really helps these players in a blind situation. Uh, when they don't know what's coming up, it helps them kind of say, hey, do this or drop that there. So most of these players, I mean, all of these players are very, very familiar with the type of indication being used. So they should be able to read the level fairly well. It's almost like we've got some secret code language. <laughs> secret. There's some progress for OK Boom Boom on the left, getting that POW block, knowing that they need to throw it into that gap because Ooh. the track box, again, was indicating that. Yes. yes. Unfortunately, it looked like it, it went along the ceiling there and didn't get the distance that it needed. Yeah, these snake blocks are a little tricky uh, to work with because they, they're moving along and they sit there for a little bit before they do disappear, but you can't actually see their exact path while they're moving. And you also can't stand on them as they're falling. Yes, that is yeah. true. There's Team Play My Level missing that toss again. That's a very tight toss. They want to toss it with a lot of momentum. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it seems like timing uh, is really important on this. On this, timing's really tight. 
yeah. using the snake blocks. Oh, yeah. yeah. The fail stream is a maker with a really, really, really good sense of the physics. So I actually, this is kind of a toned down level for uh -huh. fail stream. Uh, it's generally made some of the toughest cape levels out there, the fails flotilla series. Yeah, that vertical section seems to be giving both teams a little bit of trouble. Yeah. It's always hard in a relay in a relay scenario to get used to the level because when you're playing at home, you go after it again sure. and again, and you're yep. building the muscle memory. You're also not on a massive stage Ex like this. Yeah, yeah, there's the nerves. Oh, and it oh, looks like no. the POW just didn't want to... It was shy. Performance anxiety <laughs> shy for that. Shy POW. Level. Yeah. <laughs> I really, really like the way that they're using that shell rebounding off the wall at the beginning. I love those kind of shell rebound off wall and into the pit to get that jump off of it. That can be really tricky because you're trying to land on a moving target. Good strat for play go. my level there, okay. waiting okay. just a little bit to throw that pow. Now, what are they going to do here? They don't know what's coming up. Oh, and there's they the realization. Mm -hmm, they yeah. saw it. Now, how quickly can they get back to that point and capitalize on that knowledge? And you got to figure both of these teams are talking to each other. They're sharing information. Yep. And while they're playing, they're going to be communicating. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's one key element that I'm seeing, and it's the one way that's next to the spike, kind of indicating to you a little bit that you can hug that wall. So I'm wondering if, uh, if that's going to be utilized a little bit more in this level, too. Yeah, look at the consistency from both teams as they've spent a little bit of time with this and gone a couple rounds. Now they're definitely getting right back to where they need to be. There's OK Boom Boom with the pow in the crane, and yeah. then they're going for the spring. Now, what are they going to do here? Mm -hmm. And yeah. they're we in there. Hey. Pike entry. And that's a checkpoint. That's huge right. for OK Boom Boom. So they're moving on Big. to the vertical section now with these large buzzy beetles that you'll remember from Super Mario 3. They descend a little bit when you're standing on them. And we might see that come into play a little bit later. Yeah. I, I love how we're going you know, from deep underground right into the fluffy cloud. Right? Yeah. A nice change Escape of pace. Escape the cave yep. and approach the sky. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and there's play my level okay. in the pipe as nice. well. This is great. Yeah. What a Fit close race we have today. Yeah, Failstream as a maker has a really cool sense of environment and progression. You like mm -hmm. to go from the underground to the sky. He, he likes to move you through uh, different environmental areas. There's OK Boom Boom in the left with the shell, and they see that track oh, block, yeah. but they couldn't pull that off. It's, a really, it's, it's really tricky because when you get to that, you can tell what to do. You sure. see the indication, but can you hit it in that yep. exact yeah. moment? And that's what that we're seeing here. jump requires a lot of momentum, too. You definitely need to have a little bit of a buildup before you take off. And getting the information and knowing what to do ahead of time kind of makes that a little tough. Yeah, OK Boom Boom a little bit early. It looks like that shell is going to be rebounding off the snake block. So they have a limited amount of time to do that, and they want to be right on the money with their timing. Oh, and we've got to play my level down. in there. <gasps> uh oh. That, they learned. That's another, yep, they, they saw what they needed yep. to do. Now they just got to execute. Yep. Those snake blocks can pick up uh, munchers and other things. So there's a muncher there waiting, and the snake block just moves below it and lifts it right up into the air. While we're moving along here, Sky, why don't you come in with uh, another donation? All right. <laughs> All right, while we're doing musical chairs here, we got $25 from Guambo that says, Woo! Gaming musical chairs. It's a good way to sum it up. <laughs> we have $50 from Mummified Chili that says, Let's go, Ryu. Love your channel. Longtime follower and so happy to see you back at GDQ. Cheese hype. Ooh, that was a good strat for Team OK Boom Boom. You notice most of the racers are throwing the shell as they're making the jump, but uh, OK Boom Boom actually just throwing the shell, landing back on the snake block, and then jumping again makes it a little bit safer, and it makes it so that they don't have to do that shell jump in one motion. Mm -hmm. Play my level, nailing it with that strat, though, and they've got the muncher off the snake there block, so this is new for them. What are they going to do? Just clearing those spikes, too. They are very tight. OK. Yeah, this is really tough, because while it, there's nothing above to stop you, Oh, my goodness. Oh, play my level, making a huge break right now. That was a massive good blind read on that shell. Okay, Boom Boom, right happen. behind, though. And going and Can they, they go it? And... Oh, no. Play my level. Oh. Okay, Boom Boom in the Okay, point. Boom Boom actually making it through that very segment that Play Second My Level flag. wasn't able to accomplish right there. Yeah, they waited a little bit too long, and that pipe uh, scrolled downward off the screen. They yeah. have to get in there on a timer because that auto scroller is going to keep yeah. on moving. It's tricky because the screens, you're so high up on the screen, it's hard to make a move yeah. because you don't know what's above you. So it kind of slows you down, but in a situation like that, speed is very important. Yeah. When we were reviewing this the other night, we, we had... We predicted it. We predicted there. it, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
I think, uh, yeah, no. It's a don't. little bittersweet. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a little bit of interesting tech I wanted to point out on OK Boom Boom's side. You notice that thwomp, uh, you can stand on the top of it. Those are the stumps from Chain Chomps. And uh, they blow up right at the beginning there, but leave the stumps behind that they're attached to. And that's how you can stand and get a little, use that thwomp as a moving platform. Mm -hmm. One of my favorite little creating tricks, too, because those stumps can be smashed and all kinds of other fun things. Oh, Team OK Boom Boom with some really clean movement right there. Let's see how far we get on this attempt. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, no. We do see the end stage of Super yep. Mario Bros. 3 indicating that they were almost at the end of the level there. Yeah, they just have to figure out what they want to do at the end there, but it looks like maybe they, they can tell. It's not I think that they hard. have an idea. I think they know. So here goes OK Boom Boom trying again. All right, they're, they're figuring it out little yep. by little. Yeah, it's a little bit of, it's like, it's kind of a tricky spot. Play my level, trying to get back in there, making good progress. So you gotta figure, uh, OK Boom Boom right now, definitely communicating with each other. Communication is key here. They wanna share knowledge, they wanna talk, they wanna figure out the strats. Here we go. And this is past the eight minute mark. Oh! Could they have we been any closer? Oh. The end, and that, is going to, we're gonna have to get a finished life right here, and that is time on this level. It's gonna have to be brought to a draw. Team OK Boom Boom gets so close. They're, oh, they're going, <laughs> they're going for it. Should we get a, uh, should we get an official word from the judges on that one? Are we, are we the judges? I, uh, <laughs> I we want the we responsibility. Were, we were past the eight minute mark, but. But they finished the level. They finished, but they the, finished level, the level, but that attempt started at 8.07. Yeah. yeah. So uh, I, I, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but that unfortunately will not count as a point for Team OK Boom Boom. Uh, I don't make the rules, whoa. OK? I don't make the rules. Run the tape back, the rules are looks, looks like the crowd the might be making the rules there in a minute. <laughs> All right, this, OK, this next level. Uh, if you'd like to in give a quick little uh, intro about a glitch, and then we can have Sky. Yeah, we've got a uh, the AGDQ Parallel Worlds from Hijack Me, a really excellent maker, and we've had some updates to Mario Maker 2 recently that added a bunch of new cool stuff. We uh, Parallel Worlds that uh, could indicate that we may be seeing our friend Link here in just a second. Oh uh, my goodness. Sky, are there any donations for the uh, Link's Awakening incentive that might be fun? Oh, absolutely. So as a quick update here, we are about 73K away, so we've made substantial progress since the last uh, break, so that's awesome. We have a $500 donation from Miss Dragon one that says, shout outs to all the volunteers that make things happen behind the scenes and the runners that make us lose our minds with their skills. Link's Awakening must happen. Hi, Skybills. Hey, Miss Dragon. Thank you so much for your donation. We have $5 from Jodem that says, Happy Birthday, Orator! I think the audience should wish him happy birthday. Arr, 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 arr. <laughs> Thank you, Orator's community. We appreciate you. <laughs> we also have $40 from Retro Swim that says, Just Cook is the Relay Master. Smash out those levels with that famous 3 out of 10 gameplay. Best of luck to all the SMMC <laughs> bros and love from Sunny Brisbane. Thank you very much. All right, before we start here, I want to mention this is going to be a little bit different. This is a co-op level, so we're going to have two uh, players working at the same time together, and they're going to have to communicate and coordinate. But if you are all ready, and we are ready to count it down, can we get started? Five, five four, three, three, two, one, go! Oh, team Point My Wevel just having a little bit of a uh, hard time getting started there. <laughs> Something that's really cool about the co-op levels versus the regular multiplayer levels is that it's local on one console, and if a player dies, then it will they will bubble back in. Yeah, yeah, it is a little different playing a co-op versus uh, compared to an online co-op, and so you'll see those differences here. Like they have to stay on the same screen, being one of those big ones. But um, yes, the bubble, as you mentioned, is another big change there. So in true, Zelda, in true Zelda style, these players are going to be using a lot of the new uh, power-ups that the Link 
costume provides. You can shoot arrows, you can have bombs, you can use your shield, you can uh, dive with your sword, and uh, this level might make use of a lot of those gimmicks um, while these players are kind of figuring it out. What's nice about this is there is a little bit of recovery time for these players, so it's not necessarily do or die. If they can figure it out, uh, they might have some chances to either refresh their power-ups or um, make a little bit of progress after a few attempts. There you see them using their shield to move those munchers, and that tech might come into play a little bit later. Both of these players are on one side, and what they do on one side affects the other side. That's a very common way to use um, co-op levels, where you have to complete them together. Kind of breaks my brain, like, seeing all the Mario sprites, but hearing only Zelda audio. Like, but I do like it. Yeah, <laughs> it's definitely, it's definitely a shake-up. Yeah. Communication is key right now. Looks like OK Boom Boom is just about a section ahead, but play my level not too far behind. Using those bombs by throwing them into the crane there and uh, using that to blow up the wall. I love if the change of pace we have here, where as we our previous levels were a lot more about completing extremely challenging tasks. And over here, instead, we have completing interesting puzzles with teamwork that honestly are boiling down to how fast they can figure it out and work together instead of who can simply accomplish the task. Yeah. We're just Without really dying. excited for Link's Awakening. <laughs> <laughs> Which I'm sure we're oh. very close to reaching. So the tech in this room, uh, they're using the bombs to blow up the block there in the corner, and they're using their shield to protect themselves against those thwomps. They're going to need to keep their Link power-ups so they can continue using the Link power-ups later on down the line. Because arrows, uh, like you saw there for Team Boom Boom's side, uh, arrows can shoot through those bumpers where Link can't physically pass through. There's the door for OK Boom Boom. Moving on by one section. Yeah, we had an unfortunate death for Play My Wevel right at the end. Gonna have to redo this descent, staying safe against these big, blocky boys. <laughs> the unofficial name for the, the thwomps. Yeah, that was like one of the first BBBs. Ideas, right? Yeah, <laughs> the triple Bs. <laughs> They're such squares. Oh! <laughs> I believe it. <laughs> oh, gosh. So using the shield now to guide these spike balls down, uh, they're going to want that spike ball to go through there on Play My Level's side. Looks like they've got it. And they're going to want to guide that spike ball down because it can pass through the bumper. Yeah. I feel like I'm watching the Olympics right Seriously. here. Seriously. There's OK Boom. All that needs to happen is for one player to get in a door or a pipe, and the other player will be taken along. Uh, that is just how co-op works. That's not something special about this oh. in particular. All right, okay, we've got boom. a checkpoint here for OK Boom Boom. <laughs> approaching a very challenging section, what is the boss fight of this level? So, uh, Fee, why don't you explain the concept of this room for everybody a little bit? Oh, this is a great room. So right now, we are looking for a key. In the previous room, there was a key door. We are looking for a key. And on either side, there are on-off blocks that will switch the red and blue yes. switch blocks. Yes. In the middle, there is a stack of munchers. And each time they hit the on-off block, one of the munchers will die. I see. So by repeating that process, obviously, they're going to get the whole stack done. Yes. Is there a key in there? We'll find out. <laughs> Wait. More at seven. <laughs> <laughs> These are some really, really tricky arrow shots right now. Uh, it's, it, there's a little guideline there to kind of show you where you want to line up, but having a really intuitive sense of where Link's arrow is going to go and the kind of trajectory that it's going to make in the air can be really helpful to lining up uh, some of the trickier shots. Oh, yeah. And I love watching the teamwork right here. They're counting mm -hmm. as they're shooting, making sure they're ready to jump. It's great. Communication is key in this one. Yeah, there's OK Boom Boom Speaking in the door. <laughs> Speaking oh, it was keys. there. Oh, my God, it was there the whole time. It was <laughs> there the whole time. Oh, I love this part. Would you like to tell us about this room? So the bow and arrow can actually collect coins. And as you can see, the links are shooting their arrows into the chambers, aiming for those pink coins, which, when both collected, obtain a okay. key. Very nice shot for OK Boom Boom That's right very there. professorial of you. Thank you. I'm uh, aiming for some Discovery Channel gigs, so <laughs> put in a good word if you know anybody. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, no! Munchers from above. You don't want that to happen. They are trying to stop those spike balls from falling down because you don't want to activate the P-switches. There is danger above. That's going to give Play My Level a chance to catch up. Yeah. They're, uh, they're making good time on this one, though. This is a long, long level. And this is one of those 
common like survival rooms that you see in yep. these kinds of levels where the boss fight isn't so much a boss fight it's just don't mess up yeah. eventually things will be okay yeah, the way this works here um, is that the spike balls are falling down and the on-off blocks, you see them sort of in a big smash on the screen. When you flip the on-off blocks, if the blocks are not solid and they become solid, they'll just destroy a sp uh, object or a sprite that's in front of it. And that's what's stopping those spike balls from coming down and hitting the P-switches. Yeah. I love how the, the puzzle theme of this level really fits Zelda, right? right? I mean, and that, that you can make levels like that with, with this is, is yeah. really great. I love seeing all the different dungeons that people yep. have created in Mario Maker. It's so entertaining. Okay, right. Boom Boom, going for those heart pieces again. They know what to do now in this room, hopefully. Yeah. One thing I want to point out with this upcoming room for Team OK Boom Boom is that they have to hit these alternating blocks, right? And the spikes fall as they're trying to do it. But the thing is that if your arrow hits one of those spikes, it actually is going to stop that arrow mid-flight. So you've got to be careful of that. Oh, and they actually used a bomb right there to hit That's it. That's a pretty good strat. Yeah, you actually can. You can do that with bombs, but they're, they're going to have to be time. really careful. Mm. Tough section right now for OK Boom Boom, plus yeah. a death in that section really means yeah. going back a little bit. So We're hopefully down they to can the stay last coordinated. minute right here as well. As we've said, the after eight minutes, you get to complete your attempt with the life that you have. So it's not over until both of these teams die past the eight minute mark. Another chance for Team Play My Level. Play My Level using arrows now. Yeah, here it yeah. goes. This is very akin to some of the boss fights that some of the players here have actually created with these Zelda levels. And this is, I'd like to point out, this is not cheating. This is how uh, co-op works. You're bubbling back in. So if one player dies, they can stay in this room and bubble back in. That's oh. just how co-op works. Did you see that sacrificial arrow? And the, oh, oh, oh cloud no. block. Cloud yeah, block. That was really good. In the door. Getting the other player on the screen before going in the door. That was a safety move. Nice job for playing my level. Oh my. Oh no. Something is happening. <laughs> oh, 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 wow. There it is! Right oh, at the buzzer! Just before the eight minute mark. Buzzer beater finish for Team Play My Webble. The crowd is going nuts. We they they added that. I didn't that was not I've a seen that by the Dragon <laughs> Beanie. Everything gotta go past her, guys. Come on. <laughs> that was amazing. Wow. Sky, what did you think of that? That was incredible, and I'm so happy this one didn't come down to a draw this time. It was great to see them pull it out. They can do it. Anyways, now time for a few donations here. We have a $234.56 donation from Taspot that says, <laughs> I am Taspot. Many people help me play games. Dwango AC would like to thank them. They are TI Kevin83, Melos, Onosaurus, Taters, The Mass 3212, Jaku, Glitch Cat, and World 9 Gaming. I would like to play Super Mario Maker 2. Help AGDQ raise 2.3 million. <laughs> We also have a $5,000 donation. Ooh. Wow, that's a big one. Pulling out, all, have all the stops here from No Name. Been watching AGDQ for several years now, but this year is particularly me meaningful to me. My mom was diagnosed with bladder cancer at the beginning of last year, and so this past year has been very rough for my family. Wanted to donate during the Mario Maker block, and especially thank you to Pooh Barb. I've been watching a lot of lately. It's definitely helped me to take my mind off of things. Go team, play my wubble. And one last one here. This is a heartfelt one from home. We have $250 from Panga Mom and Dad that says, in memory of Panga's grandmother who passed away with cancer. Thanks to AGDQ for us to join the fun live streaming video games. We are proud of everyone. Go, go, Panga. All right, so real quick update here. For the Lynx Awakening incentive, we are roughly 59K away, but let's Let's just stop there. Let's go to the 2.3 million. Come on, folks. We want to see that secret game as well. Yeah, that and was just a little sneak peek of the Zelda action to come with that co-op level, but I want to see the real thing with TGH tonight. So let's hit that goal, everybody. All right. Before we move into the second half of levels, that's right, we finished the first four. Um, I'd just like to give a quick pointer, a uh, quick little shout out. At the top of the screen over here, we have the warp bar, which is actually showing the level codes for all of the levels we're going through as we're playing. Another uh, product by Warp World, the same people behind Crowd Control that was here just before with Andy. Uh, it's a free to use tool. Check it out if you do anything with queuing. Um, the warp bar has all those codes for you up there. So again, 
Yeah. This now, one also doesn't hurt you. Yeah. No, yeah, it's a lot more friendly. As this next <laughs> level coming up is by Furby, who is an incredibly prolific maker and a good personal friend of mine. And uh, we're going to see some really crazy stuff. Furby's levels are always very, very, very unique. So are we ready to count it down from five, four, four three, three, two, two one, one, go? So this is going to be an interesting one. Uh, like I said, Furby... I don't think Furby likes single directions, and you're gonna see why here. A welt in the crucible, that just sounds disturbing. I don't know what that even means, but we're about to find out. So a lot of really interesting uh, platforming action going on right now. You see they're gonna go up, Ooh. down, and all the way around. Yeah. Both teams getting to just about the same point right now, uh, but it looks like OK Boom Boom maybe got a little bit more knowledge. Uh, there might be some deaths here as these players learn, but once they learn the route, it shouldn't be too tough to repeat successful attempts. So I have a quick question for some of you guys. It seems like we've seen so far the most uh, different uh, level style is if we've seen Super Mario Brothers 3. Is there a reason for that or is it just a, a preference of the course creator? I think in some cases Super Mario Brothers 3 has a lot of interesting tech to use but not almost too much. Mm -hmm. That with Super Mario World you can really really get crazy or some mm -hmm. of the other styles so it might fit a little bit better for a race mm -hmm. to have just more of a quote-unquote standard type of platforming challenge. It's also got that good nostalgia appeal. Yeah, it's a lot of people's favorite. Yeah. I, I personally back it as Ooh. one of the like Supreme Mario games. Yeah. The theme itself is just so great. Really good progress from both teams right now. Getting to about the same point. Oh my gosh. Oh. Okay, boom, boom. Grabbing that oh, line. What a sneak that was an amazing line read. Seeing that yeah. line, earning that checkpoint. That was incredible. Yeah, and you said it before, but we can't stress it enough. Just how tricky the multi directional movement in this level is. You never know where you're going next, and it's all about those quick reads to figure out where. There's Play My Level on the right getting in as well. Tied up at the checkpoint with a minute 40. Close race right here on this level. Amazing. Yeah. Oh, that thwomp was coming back fast. Yeah, there can be a lot of little tricks and a lot of moving parts, and sometimes the best thing to do is just ignore it and try to find those arrows and tell yourself where you're going to go. Right yeah. When you're being presented with so much information, you one of the biggest skills is determining what stuff to ignore, right? Yeah. Exactly. And it's, it's beneficial to be able to stay calm, which has got to be hard to do in these marathon race situations. And there's play my level. Now they've got to move quick because this is a vertical section. So let's see how well this is brand new to them. Can they read it? Nice oh, done. passing over the Richard Vine as well. And that's a checkpoint. Here goes OK Boom Boom with the same shot. Ooh. Getting in there, tying it up. Yeah, All there tied we up go. on the second checkpoint. OK Boom Boom and play my level. OK Boom Boom's still alive right now. And this fire bar here is activating the bombs, which will blow up those uh, bricks that they're surrounding. And the Thwomp is chasing you. Yeah, both teams, their first attempt dying in the same way. Both getting that knowledge, making more progress. We're getting close on this one. It's going to be tight. Really good read right on, on the right side of your screen from play my level. Oh, I'm breathing deeply here. This that fire bar is coming. This is intense. Oh, oh what a word. read. They just picked some music. Oh, so close. The upward pipe. That's, I think, three deaths to upward pipes yeah. in least. this race alone. Yeah. At least. Final boss, upward pipe. <laughs> oh, jeez. It looks like they're really having to hit it at the peak yeah. of their jump, too. Yeah. Now that they know where it is, it's going to be a lot easier. But that was very close for a blind attempt on that finish. Yeah, notice too, they got, I mean, okay, play my level right now, getting right back to that same point, and it's the consistency. Yeah. That these players are so good that they can do something once or twice, and they know it, and they're going to get back there almost every time. Yeah, there's there play my go. level grabbing that vine. Oh, Missing no! it again. Oh, my oh, goodness. Oh, no. Vertical pipes. <laughs> can we get a little slap on the back there? I think this man might be choking. <laughs> That is going to give OK Boom Boom a chance. They have a little bit less knowledge, but hopefully they can get a little bit farther. We're basically synced right now. This is crazy. <laughs> yeah. This is going to be down to the wire right here. Here's a shot for OK Boom Boom. Yeah. Okay. And the vertical pipe. The pipe both both in. my level. Now what? It's not over yet. There's still <laughs> a little bit more. Run, guys. Here it goes. Who is going to get this first? Oh! oh. And we get a double wow. finish. Okay, Boom Boom just a little bit ahead by one second. Amazing wow. performance from both teams.
And the crowd is loving it right now. You guys are awesome. So Never many of these. Forward to a 2-2 two, two as well, tying it up. This last level of these first, oh no, sorry, this is six coming up. We still have a little bit more going ahead. My apologies on that. Before we do give any more descriptions on this upcoming level, we're gonna pass it back over to Sky with a few more donations. Sky, how are you doing back there? Good job, X Modern. I want to say the couch is doing a fantastic job right now. Thank you all so much for that. We have a $100 donation from Final Fantasy Fan. If you like puns, y'all are gonna like this one. I heard the Carl to donate, so I just had to poo my money together to join the fight against cancer. You can tell by the aura if each of the runners, they are letting loose the beast within to win Oh, this come race. on. <laughs> You may think these puns are a panga barbs in your side or even too much to bear, but I thought they were Ryu good. I digress, though. I should end this peachy comment before I am towed by the crowd to make her my way out. Good luck to all the runners, and thank you, everyone, for the super job y'all are doing to turn the switch off on cancer. P.S. Put my money in the Carl box. Carl Sagan love over here. That must have taken 20 hours to write. That we almost have... made me want to hawk a Luigi. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. And I want to remind you all, to all of these donations, remember, if we hit the 2.3M, we also get the Link's Awakening plus the Seeker again. So let's aim for that 2.3M. One more, because I told Chad I would. We have $50 from Dean BD. Where is the bald man? Where is the bald man? R, R, R. <laughs> Celebratory hands in the air. Celebratory hands in the air. R, 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 R. Sorry, sir. All right, back over to y'all. All right, well, you are about to see something really, really impressive here. This is Smelly Shell Hotel by Space Pig, a really, oh. really talented maker and someone who's been around for a long time. Uh, this is pretty toned down for a Space Pig level. We had to kind of put the reins on a little bit. But if you are ready to count it down, five, five four, four, three, two, one, go. This level is so cool. I'm so excited yeah. to see this one. You're going to love this one. <laughs> so this is the first level we've seen in Super Mario World style, okay. and it is a doozy. Space Pig is known for a lot of bounce combos, a lot of shell usage. A lot of shell usage. A lot yeah. of shell usage. Really? Fact, I've never heard that about him. Yeah. <laughs> I know. It was a surprise when I found it, too. <laughs> now, with all these precise jumps, you're going to notice that there are some coins and those little yellow boxes that you see. Those are indicators, and they are helping the players to figure out where they want to land. So even in a blind situation where they're not sure what's going to be bouncing around and where they're going to be going, they know that they can follow the coins, and that will lead them in the correct direction, hopefully. Yeah. So both both teams kind of getting a feel for this right now. Uh, you will see muscle memory set in very quickly, I think. And here he goes, play my level. You know they <laughs> the multi shell launch from those pals shooting it across right there, just so impressive. Wow. So many shells coming from areas you don't, oh! you're never gonna expect. It's just wild. Oh, amazing attempt there from Barb. And there, yeah. Ooh. Okay, boom, boom, getting it. Yeah, chucking that shell into that because it needs to blow up the munchers and clear the way into the pipe. So now we're seeing some bigger shells and we're seeing those sideways springs come up and launch them forward. Nice look. read for OK Boom Boom. Look at all of those amazing jumps. Oh, oh my gosh. The beast really... you're making work right there. Yeah, there's a, um, there's a sideways spring that's moving and as that shell, that big shell becomes stationary, the spring is going to move forward and bonk it. That's a really old school Mario Maker trick and Space Pig, a maker who's been around for a long time, definitely has a ton of things in, in their bag of tricks to use for these racers. Yeah. And something that he's done that's really cool in that section is he uses the mushroom platforms, their stalks, as the indicators to jump there. Yeah. A little more subtle than the coins, but there's still something there so you know. Yeah, Which is, that's something that, like, you know, you'll see in, in a regular Mario game. Coins as indicators, little yeah. things telling you where to go. I love that that's being replicated here just at a much higher difficulty level, right? Yeah, yeah taking those basic concepts and mm -hmm. just expanding on them in a new way. I love mm -hmm. it, too. Okay, team Play My Wevel making some good progress here. Picking up on this section very easily and making right in the there. upwards pipe with friendly vines right there to help out. <laughs> team OK Boom Boom approaching the same area but having a little bit of trouble reading that final jump. Play My Wevel at this amazing back and forth wow. wiggler section. Yeah, you can re-jump uh, once you jump on a wiggler. It just stays, so you can use that again. Yeah, and but they... he loses his flower. <laughs> he gets He's... he gets mad. He gets real mad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we've got the first go back on the wigglers. This time we have the knowledge. Moving forward again. 
That's so cool how that section resets itself. You go over once and it yeah. resets itself again. Okay, boom, okay. boom. Play my level though with the win. We were wondering if anyone was gonna stop and fight. But these these players have places to be. Look at how fast that was. Three amazing. minutes and two seconds to make it through there. That was an absolutely amazing clear. There's one thing I learned right there. It's that Team Point My Wevel is not intimidated by no boom boom. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's throw it over to Skybull for some more wonderful donations. All right, and we have the beginning of a $5 train going to make that push for the 2.3 million. Choo -choo. First of all, we have Choo Choo with $5, and here comes the money train. We have $50 from Evil Ben. He says, how hard does one have to poo stomp to freeze a switch? Sorry, Pooh, just one of those, I promise. We have $1,000 from Sweet Baby, who says every member of our team has a parent currently dealing with cancer, so this one hits close to home. It would shock you to learn how many of these video games get written to the soundtrack of Pooh, Fiend, Carl, Barb. Basically, everyone playing right now, so this is the perfect time to donate. Good luck, everyone. Thank you, Sweet Baby, and we appreciate that. We have $200 from Jackalope Rider that said had to donate during Grand Pooh Bear's run. We got really into Mario speedruns after watching GDQ the first time a few years ago, and now he's become a regular watch for us. Best of luck to him and the rest of the Pue My Webble team. And don't forget, folks, we are getting close. We are aiming now for that 2.3 million. We are still a bit short on the Link's Awakening, but let's just go past that. We can do that and aim for the 2.3. Remember, if we hit that milestone, we'll get both of them. So let's keep working together. Let's keep that $5 train going. Back to you, Couch. Awesome job by your major crew so far. Keep it going. So turn up your speakers for this one because we have a level from Composer. Uh, this is really, really interesting. In, in Super Mario Maker, if you place different blocks on note blocks, you can make music with it. And Composer is the absolute master of this. We've got Cadence of Hyrule, AGDQ, Gerudo Valley. And uh, let's count it down. Are we ready? Oh, I love this. Everybody's yeah. ready. Yeah, you're, you're not going to want to miss this. Oh, before we do count it down, I just want to give a quick announcement. We just passed two million and two hundred thousand dollars, and that number just keeps shooting up. Less than a hundred thousand away from the two point three. Keep them coming in, guys. We're so close to Link's Awakening. And the, the train super has left the station, y'all. But that's the power of a five dollar train, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right, you want to start? Are, the are we ready for on five, four, three, two, one, go? I almost don't even want to talk when it starts because it's just so beautiful. Did you know the Cadence of Hyrule was in HGDQ? <gasps> now I know. Now you know. <laughs> so this level is actually playing the song as, uh, as they're doing this. And I almost don't want to talk over it, like you said. But we've got the Link costume again, and uh, they're going to be using a bunch of different Link powers as they make their way through this. All right, and we've had a depth from both sides there. There's going to be a lot of kind of complicated tech in this level because as Composer likes to do, he makes music levels, but he does not make them easy. A lot of challenges, and there's a lot of moves that Link can actually do in Super Mario Maker, including shooting an arrow, throwing a bomb, shielding, dashing, all kinds of techniques, and knowing just how they all work together and all the different things you can accomplish with these tricks is vital for beating this level. But that being said, these players are all familiar with every one of these tricks, and after a few attempts, I'm sure they're going to be smoking through it. You could say that he puts a whole level in his music levels. <laughs> it's you could. You did. Or that it's on, an, uh, on a completely different level. Oh. All right, we're making new progress here. Nice down stab for OK Boom Boom there, yeah. using that link power we haven't seen yet. And the shield the again, shield immediately bounce. recognizing what needed done. Remember, they haven't seen this part yet. Oof. And at that final section right there, hard to read, but making so close to that he door. Yeah, you got to figure all these makers have spent a ton of time with this kind of thing. So hopefully they'll be able to see the way and it's yeah. just simply a matter of execution. I think everybody, the commentators included here, have all played every one of Composer's levels. I think they've been working on these levels since mid-December. Yeah, we, there's been a whole team that's been working on it. And uh, actually, a quick shout out to Dekula for helping us organize all of that. Yeah. Oof. All right, team, play my level. Oh. oh. Realizing what needs to be done, just a little short on the timing, but they have the knowledge. 
Yeah, this is one of those levels where team communication is going to be key. You see them kind of looking over and talking to each yeah. other while they're playing. I love that, the, the lean back. You can see, like, one player leaning forward, whispering into the ears of another. Careless, careless whispers. <laughs> I'm never going to dance again. Hey, x -Bod. Yeah? How much did it get you to sing part of that? Uh, I ain't expensive, baby. <laughs> All right, in the door. In the door for Team OK Boom Boom. Yeah, using Link's dash ability there, you can, uh, just like in, like we saw uh, Andy with Legend of Zelda, you can dash and you'll be able to stab things uh, while you do that. And they need to do that to get rid of those piranha plants that were They got that checkpoint as well. Yeah. <laughs> now, I don't know if it's just me, but I absolutely love that the bomb I makes love the it. chicken I love sound it. effect. <laughs> Whoa! Play my level, entering that door without actually hitting that switch. You can do that. They're standing off the edge, and you technically count as the ground, uh -huh. so you can get in. That was, a, that was a good move. Okay, Boom Boom making great progress right here. Getting another checkpoint. Now, what some people might not fully be realizing is that, like, with the blue and red blocks, a lot of these sections are kind of being reused, but with the alternating blocks, then it's actually, like, slightly changing the music. Very, very complicated to how this all works on the back end. It's incredible how this is all put together. Well, and and also having a worthwhile level that's obviously yeah. giving these guys just as much of the, uh, the trouble to, to get through as some of the other levels we've seen. Yeah. Impressive I, on so many ways. Yeah. I really like the move of blocking the spiny shell uh, with the shield yeah. as it's bouncing. And you have to do it twice and then get out of the way and kind of move. Yeah. It's great that every single link technique was worked into this level. Even the dash, which some, sometimes is a little harder to fit in when it uh, requires you to slow down for just a second. Something that these speedrunners don't like doing. One of my favorite things about this section is the slide under the pokey. <laughs> If only it was playing the slide theme. I know, but ooh, oh. it's just really cool. Yeah. You know, a neat little mechanic there that Play My Level is using, and we saw OK Boom Boom do earlier, is that they're throwing the bomb up, but then they're shooting it with the arrows, and that can move the bomb a little bit. And that's really good uh, tech knowledge to be able to recognize that that is what they actually have to do right away. Yeah, we were actually concerned that it might take them a little bit to figure that out, but it was like just like that for them. They had it immediately. Yeah, they've also got that line there kind of showing them, hey, you want to shoot yeah. arrow this way. Okay, Boom Boom making really good progress right here. Some mid-air bow and arrow shots. Jumping on that Boom Boom, making some heavy progress. And approaching the boss chamber. All right. Oh, nice job using the shield to block the fire from the piranha plant there. There is, uh, I mean, a Bowser up there. Well, was, you know, no Ganon, but... <laughs> <laughs> One yeah. thing that's nice about this section is uh, you see the cannon in the upper left. It is shooting out the power-up so that if they do take damage, they can recover a little bit. And what they need to do is use that, uh, use that <laughs> arrow. Taking a pause to, to gather the breath. Now, there's like four separate obstacles in this section, and it should be noted that to destroy a Bowser, it takes only four bombs for a regular-sized Bowser, so it's not too too crazy to ask, but definitely a lot to keep track of while you got to get him up there. And yeah. standing around on donut blocks that are just appearing underneath you all the time. And, and there he is. Carl Sagan making it into that red pipe. What lies ahead, we're about to find out. The end. There it is. Team Amazing. Okay, finish. Boom Boom getting their third clear. I don't know about you, but that was very stressful to watch. Yeah, I was. my heart was skipping a beat the whole time. Oh, I get it, skipping a beat, because. Yeah. Uh, it took me a minute. Yeah. It was definitely on purpose. So, wow, so we're down. So we're down to the final level here, right? This is, this yeah, is it. We're yeah. all tied up, so I guess nobody gets the uh, three and three. Yeah, yeah. three and three. All right, let's hit it over to Sky Bills. All right, thank you, Fiend. We have $20 from Vesper84 to all my friends at GDQ and the SMW and SMM community. I miss you all dearly, and sorry I could not make it. But in the spirit of Carl, I have a pun for you. What do you call a country comprised of all female deer? A donation. Okay. <laughs> thank Vesper. Okay. Why do you do this for me? We have $250 from Tangang. Love this community. Special Ooh. thanks to all our level makers who make these races possible. And $50 from Michael Neely, who says, Twitch chat, drop those vibes, make the task happen, please. Yes, 2.3 million. This is the final level. That towner has not stopped moving. Twitch chat, I see you all. Let's make that push for 2.3. <laughs>
We see you. Y'all are the real deal out there. Please keep it going. Every, every single donation matters. And we're also about 2,000 away from Link's Awakening. But again, 2.3. Let's do it. Back over Ooh. to y'all. Good luck in the final level. All right, it has all come down to this. We're tied up. I love that this is going down this way yeah. because neither team is going to get an advantage. Both teams can start at the same time. This is a Super Mario 3D world, which is one of the new styles that was added for Mario 2. And there is a whole different lexicon of tricks and movements that we're going to see. This level takes full advantage of all of that. It's going to be really exciting by Royal Nobody. Are you ready? All right, let's get it started for the final level for all the marbles. Five, four, Three, two, one, go! I'm so excited for this one. This one is so good. I love this level. If there was ever a level to finish a race with, it's this one. Listen to that Delfino Isle music. <laughs> I know, it's so happy. Wow, so look at the read already for Team Boom Boom, knowing what is going on yeah. here. Using these clear pipes, there's wall Ooh. jumps, there's long jumps, and there's all kinds of different enemies that exist only in the 3D world style, yeah. and these players know all about that. They've got to read it and uh, use it. Those clear pipes are going to be very heavily involved in this level. It's uh, something that's kind of been... Uh, massively taken advantage of in these 3D world levels because as you travel through them, if the other side is closed, you come right back. And creators have found a lot of really interesting things you can do with that mechanic, as we're seeing over here with Team OK Boom Boom, able to kind of use it as a stall mechanism. Really good long jump there, OK Boom Boom. They're into blind territory now. Riding <laughs> on that ant. It's so tricky. Yeah. So grabbing a snowball there, Play My Level has the ball, and they've got the ant up the conveyor belt. Yeah. One thing you're going to see is them using wall jumps out of the pipe, and they're in the box. And that's a nail-biter moment right there. A little trick, but no actual danger as Team Play My Level gets the first checkpoint. This next section, very hectic, lots going on, and very, very tight timings on these jumps. Do we have time for a couple quick donations here? Have some tasks for the couch to try to earn some last minute to make that push. Yeah, go ahead. All right, we have $5 from Nathie that says, this is just a reminder for Sky to remind the couch to say hi to Marnie, which I have went ahead and already donated the extra $25 for. All right. Hi to who? Oh, okay, Boom Boom getting in there. We are tied up. Good job. Love to see this tie coming in here. All right. This is such a testament to the skill of these players that they are so evenly matched on blind levels in front of a huge audience. Yeah. They can handle this, no problem. The fact that they're making it through this set of levels in under eight minutes each is just bonkers. Who are we supposed to say hi to, Skybills? Uh, Marty, Nathan's, uh, or Nathan's wife. So, Marty. Hi, hi Marty. Marty. Hi. All right, real hey, quick Marty. also, we have $500 from J-Mac. It says, so excited to watch these awesome people play some levels for a great cause. We'll donate another $100 if someone on the couch can tell me where Pooh's name came from. He bought the it on eBay. No, I was going to say the dictionary. <laughs> <laughs> he bought the dictionary on eBay? <laughs> he bought a dictionary on eBay, yeah. Okay, here's Play My Level with a oh, shot. Get no! oh! Run down by the car. So those Koopa Vehicular cars. Vehicular assault right there, my man. <laughs> Those Koopa cars are really interesting. You can jump on the Koopa and get it out of the car, but they do kind of come at you. If they're on the ground, they will try to drive right into you. It's like the ultimate justice <laughs> for all the years of Mario stepping on them and getting rid of their shell. You know, one thing is funny is that for whatever reason, when Koopas are driving a car, they're never wearing a shell. It's like they take off their shirt before they hop in the hoopty. I don't know, I just thought it was... It's I a convertible. It was yeah. <laughs> Okay, Boom Boom with another shot here at the end on the left yeah. side of your screen. Here, here they go with the car. Oh. Using the pipe to stall. What a cosmic what train a move. move. That was amazing. Seven billion IQ. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Gonna have to make it. We call that getting snowballed. Okay, Boom Boom. <laughs> and this final section. There it is. It what a play. Okay, Team Boom Boom. Okay, Boom Boom. Has won the race. The crowd is chanting for the beast, and I don't blame them. Yo, let's give it up for both our teams tonight. An amazing show from two amazing sets of players. Couldn't have asked for a better showcase of levels and creators and players and co-commentators, if I can yeah. be honest as well. I'd like to give a special shout out to the behind the scenes team that yeah. helped do all of this. There were a lot of people who helped coordinate, make the levels and direct everything. So thank you all to them. Yeah, that was a wow. fan, that was a fantastic <laughs> race. 
Blown away. Seriously. Blown away. Blown away. And we're only another 37,000 away yeah. from 2.3 million. Yeah. We went up like 200 in that segment alone. So a round of applause to everybody who's been donating and contributing for this last stretch of the marathon. And as you know, we have also unlocked the bonus game of Link's Awakening run by TGH later tonight. So that's going to be an absolute splendid segment. You don't want to miss it gonna be just as if not more hot than the co-op Zelda level we had here yeah. there's been such camaraderie from all these racers look they're all just happy and having out I, they I've were seen so them evenly poised it was so cool to see yeah. them finish it like almost the same time on on so many of those different right levels. Mm. you can't even tell they were fighting three minutes ago <laughs> <laughs> they're so cute all right. Well, that's, um, that's from, all we've got. Thanks. Yeah, that's from Super here. Mario Maker 2. Thanks, yeah. everybody. Thanks for having Thank us. Thank you so much for playing my game. And with that, should we kick it back over to Sky Bills for some donations? Yeah. If you would, Sky. So, in addition to everyone playing on the stage, which you all are amazing, let's hear for this wonderful commentator crew as well. We have Glitch Cat, X Water, Dragon Feeny, and E Mister. Wonderful job, folks. All right, chat, you all are the real deal here. I see the donation tracker just going up and up and up. We can hit that 2.3 mil. We still have an interview coming up soon. However, time for some donations first. We have $25 from Travo Dude that says, proud of my big brother, the thunder from down under. Just cook, show them how it's done. $5 from RRRRR. Where's the bald man? RRRRR. Thanks for the 100 bits. RRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRR
All right, welcome back. Coming up, it is everyone's favorite prize person sent. Take it away. I think they said it best. Thank you, Twitch chat. And now we are going to send it on over to Scent, everybody's hero. All right. Today is a uh, wow. Um, I, I came over here to help you guys remember how to count up from 20, and you, you smashed it so hard that we went $20,000 or so over the 2.3 $2 million we needed to see that Mario Maker test. Give yourselves some rounds of applause. Make some noise. Come on. Ladies and gentlemen at home, I don't know if it's coming through as well through the stream, but the mood in here is electrifying. It is absolutely amazing. Guys, my name is Sent, and I wanted to just pop out to tell you guys about some of the amazing prizes you can donate to win from now until the end of the marathon. We have so much cool stuff. We have parlors, uh, we have paintings, we have string art that is art that is somehow made with nails and string. We have beautiful handcrafted statues. We have an amazing uh, grand prize being your choice of a wonderfully handcrafted sword and shield, an amazing guitar, or a custom-built piece that you've done yourself. We have this incredible Sony prize pack that is so massive it doesn't fit on my desk. It's, it's got a PS4 Pro, it's got two controllers, God of War Collector's Edition, Horizon Zero Dawn Collector's Edition, Death Stranding Collector's Edition. We have an amazing PC from the Yeti. Guys, you can get everything on this table, everything that I'm talking about. If you donate $100, that's gonna be your chance to entry. $200 cumulatively throughout the event, that's gonna be your chance to enter into the grand prize. My mind is blown, my throat is blown from screaming so hard with the rest of the crowd out here. It's been absolutely amazing. Thank you all so much, but don't stop donating because every dollar goes to PCF and every dollar matters. Uh, guys, thank you all so much. Make sure to head over to gamesdonequick.com, look at the tracker. I'm going to throw it over to my good friend in the big chair, Kizaron, because he's got some of the Mario Maker runners there, and I think they want to talk a little bit about that amazing race. Indeed, indeed. I have no idea if I can be hurt. Yes, I can. Hello. Excellent. I can't hear anything, so I'm going to pretend like I know what's going on. Hey, everyone. It's Keezer on here. And I'm here with some beasts of players. Speaking of beasts, we got Carl, of course. We got Pooh. 
You didn't kick any consoles this time. I'm proud of you, buddy. You know, uh, you know I've done. been working on. I've been working on it <laughs> over the years. You know? And of course, we got Barb over here. Now, I mean, I don't, I don't even know what to say, man. You're, you're all ridiculously incredible. Well, whoever said anything, I can't hear you. Thanks. But <laughs> like, you're all ridiculously incredible at Mario. And let's just kind of go down the line. How did you get to the level that you are in terms of like technical proficiency? Um, improv, just like sight reading levels, like the whole shebang of bang. Um, for me personally, it's uh, mostly in Mario Maker 1, there was the 100 Mario challenge, uh, playing it on Super Expert, just see how many levels in a row you could do. Um, and then Mario Maker 2 brought in the endless mode, and it's, they reduced the lives drastically. So, um, you know, it's blind play levels you've never seen, um, just pretty much that. Uh, something that I love is to just dissect levels, like building them myself, seeing how every piece works and how everything fits together. So that's always been my favorite part of Mario Maker is being able to really just dive in and you can make your own game and doing that lets you see how everything works. So I've just died a lot. And, <laughs> you, know, like, you get better. Failure breeds success, you know, essentially. I was always good. <laughs> <laughs> That was the best. The best. I, can't, I cannot argue that. The most with that. quintessential barb answer right there, you know? Now, we do have a bunch of clips that we took, and I'm, I'm going to cheat and use my cue card here, but um, I couldn't believe everything I was seeing. So I kind of want to start with uh, if we could cue up that first clip real quick. So, very first level, Panga actually, like, he had like one, the most clutch pipe that I've seen in quite some time. Like, what the heck? What the heck was happening that, there? That section I, was really unexpected. Yeah, yeah. and like, I, I know Panga's not up here with us, but like, what was Team Play My Level thinking when that happened? Like, did you uh, think like uh, you had like a really good start to the to the whole race? Did you think that kind of set the tone early? Or? Well, well, Panga gave me permission to speak for him here, so I'll take care of this. Um, he, <laughs> first, first of all, Panga's like kind of like the original he kind of started this whole Kaizo thing in Mario Maker 1. Like, he wasn't the first one to do it, but he's definitely the, the one who popularized it in Mario Maker 1, and, and we're all kind of little spawns of his in some ways. Um, so he recognizes everything that is in a level, and, and all these levels had really good indicators. I don't know if you saw, but like, in, at Endpipe, it had a box around, and that's uh, the universal indicator for hidden box, you know what I mean? So he just instantly knew, he instantly recognized, and um, he's great at that. And yeah, he screwed us over in every way possible, so yeah. he, he knows all the tricks. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he's trolled every way. So. Now, let's toss it to the other team. Okay, boom, boom. We actually had like this crazy ending by you, Beast. Like I oh just one uh, just yeah. one, one of many one of many so I I don't even know what to explain at this point in time but like <laughs> you just you just had like this sequence where you, you didn't die you were really laser focused and how it, yeah I, I would I would have died like you didn't even expect that Donna did my you? title flat out says bad at Mario so like I would have died <laughs> twenty minutes ago yeah I was. Um, I've played many that uh, levels by Bufflin, a very great creator. I've played dozens of levels by him and, you know, uh, have a feel for his style, but it was kind of, I was really nervous getting up here. I've never been up here, done anything like this, and then uh, just played like I knew how to play, and it, Hell yeah. it just worked out. <laughs> I don't know. You did pretty good. You did pretty dang good. Yeah, Beast, is, Beast is the best player, like, at least in America, possibly in the world. Like, legit. He, yeah, like, no levels, question at we're all. all really good. Well, let's, let's give it up for Beast. <laughs> no, no, seriously. But, like, we're all really good, but, like, Beast is, like, just puts us to shame on yeah. hard level <laughs> yes. of completion. Yeah. yeah. Like, I don't even put a clock next to levels because I don't want people to see how better Beast is. <laughs> uh, hopefully, I don't uh, ruin my producer's day by uh, trying to switch to social media real quick before we talk about more clips, but I kind of want to break it up a little bit. Um, just ask you guys, what was your favorite level of the race? And this is by Memes Nick. Uh, I really like the last one uh, by Royal Nobody. Because he won. Um, I mean... <laughs> A little bit, you know, but he really is my favorite creator. He's been building since uh, the early days of the first Mario Maker, and his play style just, it fits how I like to play the game perfectly. Um, yeah, um, my favorite level was definitely the co-op level. I, I mean, I liked all the levels, but I really, really liked how there were two paths, and both people had to work together the entire time. It, 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 offer, it really, like, makes you communicate with the other person, and that's not something you normally get. You don't normally be able to, you can't really do that in Mario Maker normally, so it was really different, and I love that. I love the way Hijack Me, the level creator, um, just 
presents really awesome challenges that both people have to solve together. And it felt like such a really like intricate level too. Yes, yes. They're I all definitely intricate. Enjoyed that They're all so intricate. Uh, I'd have to say my favorite was Space Pig's. Um, Space Pig, he, he does one thing, but he does it so much better than everybody else that it's just embarrassing to every other creator. He's so good. And his machines that look like they would never work, they always work. They're completely consistent. And uh, he's got a great stream. He's one of the most humble, friendly guys I know. He's yeah. an amazing creator. I'd have to go with Space Pig. I'll stay composer because he's in the crowd. So. <laughs> <laughs> We didn't win that level. <laughs> now, I was kind of looking for questions that I could ask all of you, but this question was too cute. I couldn't turn it down. This is by uh, C. Kinzig, and this is for you, Pooh. What's going to be the first speedrunner, a speed uh, run, excuse me, that you introduce okay. to little one? To my baby? Yeah, to my yeah. kid. He just turned one this week. I had him last day GBQ, so he just turned one. This Thank you. Thank you. Um, and we've actually, I've actually had a little, a, we, me and my wife have actually talked about this pretty, because he doesn't get any screen time yet. So right. the first thing we're actually going to introduce them to is I'm going to give them an NES with two controller or with you know the two buttons and Mario One exactly where I started and and if he develops a love for it great if he you know ends up liking Fortnite whatever that's great too or <laughs> whatever he wants to do I want, I'm just going to be there to encourage him whatever it is but I'm going to give him Mario One's going to be his like first screen time period so yeah this one I'm gonna go ahead and uh, throw it to uh, one last clip and I I have to throw it to this um, this is the very last clip that I took it's a uh, it was OK Boom Boom that pulled this off. It was Carl, of course. Um, Screw him. So you, you know how in Smash there's the taunt to body combo? <laughs> well, you had the like to near death combo. Dude, you, and <laughs> you like, and this boss was the, so hectic, the, dude. The spaghetti was so <laughs> real. You it was like, so not, real. Like, I was. I was just trying to not die to the fireball because if I lose the costume, it's all over. So falling down the donuts looks scary, but it's much better than losing the costume. So all I was doing was avoiding the freaking fireballs at all costs while also trying to do all the controls, which I'm obviously not amazing at. Yeah, there's actually power I mean, up being shot out. Uh, so you, you would have been oh, fine if never, you got hit. Well, don't <laughs> that, like I'm that, glad no yeah. one told me that or it wouldn't have been as funny to watch. <laughs> I mean, the whole time backstage, I, I was just like, what, what, why, why, what's he doing, what's he doing? And then, <laughs> Not realizing I could. I mean, I could, you can't yeah. have a hype race without silly moments like that. But anyway, thank you guys so much. Not only for that amazing relay race, but taking the time out of your day to talk to me, who still can't hear what's going on. Um, can I just say one thing before we go? Absolutely. Uh, really want to give a shout out to Daykula. They did so yes. much behind the scenes to get everyone together. Um, they're here as well. They were controlling the warp bar. So just a great shout out to them. They've helped with like the last like four Mario relay races we've done at, at all sorts of events. So just thank you so much. And, and just a huge shout out to the entire to that, Mario Maker community. That. So yes. cool. Yes, Such definitely. a great community. Now, speaking of amazing, I don't know if the crowd's had enough of Taskbot yet. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not sure. I mean, I think, I think people like Taskbot. So, uh... How about we have Taskbot do some Super Mario Maker 2? Thanks, guys. I'll see you next time. And again, on that note, too, thank you, Twitch Cat, for making this possible. A couple donations real quick. $25 from Neferdal that says, Thank you, Twitch Cat, all in capital letters. Indeed, thank you.